Now, let's get to this amazing story. Excited about this. The owner of a very successful restaurant in Ireland, Trayvodes, became a viral sensation after sending this tweet. In which the restaurant owner said, call me old fashioned, but you're not allowed to use the ladies toilet in our restaurant if you have a penis. Whilst there has been a predictable backlash from some quarters, is uh, Paul uh, Trayvode has seen his eatery packed out ever since. In a recent interview, he has said, who knew a tweet about a willy could fill your restaurant? Well, I'm delighted to say that Paul Trayvode joins me now. Paul, congratulations. Uh, apparently, you've never been so busy. Well, I tell you, millions spent on marketing over all the years. And you mentioned the word willy or penis in a tweet and all of a sudden it fills your restaurant. It's incredible. Uh, what motivated you to send the tweet, Paul? Well, there was actually there was a conference in town uh, in, in one of the hotels. Uh, and town is Killarney here in County Kerry, one of the most stunning locations you'll find anywhere in the world. And uh, it was basically saying it was a trans uh, conference and they said, listen, we want to remove ladies toilets and gents toilets from the signs on the doors and we want to just call them toilets. And uh, so I'm a firm believer ladies toilets is a safe space for uh, ladies, girls. And I turned around and I said, well, that's, you know, you're guaranteed one thing when you come into Trevo's is that uh, if you do have a penis, you're not getting into my ladies toilets. OK. And what was the initial reaction, Paul? I, I'll be honest with you, Mark, I was amazed. I mean, look, I, I have two TV shows on Amazon Prime. I've got quite a prolific uh, social media platform. And I knew that, I mean, look, I was going to draw a bit of attention. But put it this way, if I didn't get the negative comments, I was doing something wrong. Um, so it started off the usual one or two kind of going, oh, you bigot, you transphobe, all these kind of names. And that's kind of what you get from people who lack the intelligence to be able to have a debate with you. And then all of a sudden, more and more people saw what I was saying. And then all of a sudden they started saying, thank you so much uh, for, you know, for speaking out for us and, and for defending us. Look, like most people, Mark, I've got my wife, I've got my mother, I've got uh, my sister, I've got my nieces, even my mother-in-law. I love them all way too much to be able to make a scenario where potentially a man can put on a dress, slap a little bit of lipstick on and say, I'm a woman for the next hour or two and walk into the safe space, which is a toilets, ladies' toilets in, whether it be a restaurant, a bar or a nightclub or something like that. So I said, during COVID, I'm from an industry that was shut down for the base, best part of two and a half, three years here in Ireland. And I said, the only way you can debate something like this is to force the debate. So if you have to come out with something as rash as a tweet like that, then therefore we force the debate. And here we are. We're talking on a massive TV show here in the UK about, um, you know, men can't be just flippantly walk into a lady's toilet. Uh, absolutely right. And I'm sure you're not transphobic. I'm sure you're a very liberal chap and you would take the view if someone wishes to identify by a different gender. Good luck to them. But if you have a male physiology, if you're a biological male, you have no place in the ladies restroom. Uh, and that's that, that's 100 percent right. And, and we've got to force the debate on the fact that there are unfortunately there are people out there who will basically take advantage of a scenario of people are afraid to say something. So you could have the potential of a man that is potentially assault a woman or a young girl inside in the toilets. And we need to address that very carefully. So you can't. And most people are afraid to say because there is a backlash. Of course, there's going to be an online backlash. And normally it's from somebody like Johnny4927 on Twitter that has a picture of a goat as his profile picture because he's an absolute coward that will call you every name under the sun. But if I stand up and say it and then all of a sudden you have me on such a fantastic platform like this, more and more people will become confident enough to turn around and say, actually, you know, this is true. Anybody can just put on a dress, slap on a bit of lipstick, a little bit of mascara and call themselves a woman and put themselves into that position where they could potentially assault or seriously harm a woman. And I'm not going to I'm not going to let that happen no matter what they call me. Thankfully, it's literally water off a duck's back.